The college football bowl season is coming up this weekend, and the Arizona State Sun Devils, well, they will not be going bowling. But I thought I'd throw together a little package of the best highlights, which uh, there aren't that many of because their offense was so pathetic, and some of the best sound bites from the regular season. Okay, Arizona State actually had high hopes going into the season as they were ranked 15th in the country and thought they could contend for a Pac-10 championship. They had impressive wins over Northern Arizona and Stanford and had only one more game until number three Georgia came to town. That game was against UNLV, and they overlooked the running Rebels as they lost 23-20 to as kicker Thomas Weber had his field goal blocked in overtime and that was the start of an embarrassing six game losing streak. That embarrassing six game losing streak tied a school record for most consecutive losses since 1929 and that was a uh, little before my time. Over that stretch they lost to UNLV, Georgia, at Cal in their first road game, at USC and then they were embarrassed at home during parents weekend 54 to 20 against Oregon and then lost a close one at Oregon State. The offense was struggling so bad, I even suggested that they throw in some trick plays. Let's hear what Mike Jones had to say about that. Oh, I would love it. We, we always joke about it, saying that I want to throw the ball, you want to throw the ball, we want to hide it or whatever, but we haven't really did any trick plays too much. We usually say that for the second half year, so probably we'll come up with a couple in the next couple of weeks, so we'll see what happens. Over this losing streak, quarterback Rudy Carpenter, instead of looking like one of the best ASU quarterbacks of all time, looked like he might not even be the best quarterback on the 2008 ASU football team. And that led to some media members calling for backup quarterback Danny Sullivan. Led by their surprising defense, the Sun Devils snapped their losing streak and defeated Washington on the road. They came back home and won against the pathetically bad Washington State Cougars, 31 to nothing, and then the day after Thanksgiving, defeated UCLA. In that win against UCLA, they set an NCAA record with four defensive touchdowns. And that set up an interesting matchup down in Tucson. The Sun Devils were 5-6, and six, and a win would mean they were bowl eligible. Let's hear what tight end Andrew Pettis had to say about the ideal way for going out. Blowing them out, like embarrassing them to the point where, I mean, their seniors need to leave the field crying because they know that that was their last game and they got embarrassed at home. Well, the ending wasn't exactly how senior tight end Andrew Pettis envisioned. Quarterback Rudy Carpenter in the offense couldn't get anything going the entire game, just like the rest of the season, and the Wildcats pummeled the Sun Devils 31-10 to to end the campaign at 5-7. and This is what coach Dennis Erickson had to say about the disappointing season. You know, the season 5-7 and seven is not good. I don't care. I mean, anybody that can make 5-7 and seven is good. Uh, I don't know. He came from a different school than I came from. Such a disappointment for Arizona State this season. The good news for Sun Devils fans is Coach Dennis Erickson has never had two straight losing seasons. And next year should be very interesting as four guys are going for that starting quarterback job with Danny Sullivan, the senior, the front runner. I hope you've enjoyed all the coverage this year. This has been Jason Parks for Palestra.net, the College Network.